Fora TV. The world is thinking. I talk to, to folks at cocktail parties as well as gatherings like this about, about the magnitude of the problem, the volume of the problem, and it surprises some people. It may not surprise you. This is a sophisticated audience. But some are, are astounded to find that if you stacked end-to-end -end all the used fuel from 55 years of commercial operation of nuclear power plants in this country, it would fill one football field up to the height of the goalpost. No larger than that. It's still a problem. We still have to deal with it. But it's not the size of the state of Rhode Island or the state of California. And some people are really amazed by that. To put it in a, in a little bit different way, if you and I received all our lifetime electricity from nuclear power from day of birth to age 70, the amount of waste contribution from our use of nuclear electricity would weigh about two pounds and would fit into a Coke can. So you have to put this a little bit into per perspective. I'm not trivializing what must be done with it, but it's not bigger than a bread box. The second thing that people believe and, and somehow have come away with is that this used fuel is very, very difficult to manage. And I think, I think truth be known, is just the opposite. Today, used nuclear fuel is stored very safely and securely at the 64 sites around the country in compliance with all Nuclear Regulatory Commission regulations. Used fuel is a solid material encased in steel alloy rods stored in water-filled steel vaults or in concrete and steel containers and effectively monitored and managed by the individual nuclear power plant sites. It is safe here, but that's not what the law of the land calls for. The law of the land calls for the United States government to take title to and remove this fuel from our neighborhoods, from the 64 sites, and consolidate it at centralized locations. So that is the problem. It's not certainly that it's unsafe where it is, but it's not meeting yours or my expectations for uh, uh, disposing of this fuel. Now, the third myth that I would like to tackle <clears throat> is uh, maybe new news. And it is that the, the, something around the nuclear industry doesn't have a plan for disposal of this used fuel. Well, we, we do have a plan. And in fact, the original plan of deep geologic disposal of used fuel at Yucca Mountain remains viable and scientifically justified. That's third assertion, I guess, on tonight. But a parallel and complementary path that we have recently developed, and this is the new part, features the de development of, of an advanced fuel cycle technology to employ recycling to recover vast unused energy in the, in the fuel, to reduce the waste volume of that fuel, and to reduce the radiotoxicity that Mother Earth must absorb. Now that's big. It's, it makes sense to me. The, the original way, the way we've been following for years and years and years is once through Fuel rods go through the reactor, you pull them out, you then put them in Yucca Mountain, and you walk away from it. You leave 95% of the energy content of those fuel rods in the rods if that's the way we go about it. If you take a look at my garage or ask my wife, you'll see that that doesn't sit well with me. I've never thrown anything away over my lifetime. So why on earth are we throwing away 95% of the energy content of this very valuable resource? Why on earth are we subjecting Mother Earth to more radiotoxicity and more heat load than we have to? So the idea would be a three-stage plan. First, find vo volunteer communities that would be willing to and, in fact, anxious to share in the research and development of this new technology that I'm talking about to recycle this fuel and would agree, as part of this, to interim storage of the used fuel under U.S. government control and U.S. government title while the recycling technology is being developed. Second, conduct that research and development. Conduct that demonstration. Prove this out on a, on a scale basis, on a full scale basis. Prove that it can be done. And then third, construct that, that plant that will do that recycling, will do that reprocessing, and bury the residual in some deep geologic repository. 
a repository that if we went through those steps I just outlined would easily last even if we go to the kinds of numbers that some people are forecasting for this country on the order of 300 nuclear power plants for this country we could we could do with just one deep geologic repository I think it's important that we think about this